Uh, such a cool collection of products to make drinking beer more enjoyable. My name is Brett Chuckerman, and what you're going to get tonight is so cool. First of all, literally so cool. These are called beer chill sticks. You can put this in a lukewarm beer and you can drink it and it will be cold. This is a wonderful way to make every beer feel like that cold, crisp, perfect beer, even if you bought it at the fancy beer store and it was not cold. So you got those. Then, in addition to the chill sticks that you're seeing on your screen, you're gonna get two of those. You are going to get two of the stainless steel cozies. So rather than the old sad, you know, foam ones, you get two stainless steel, keep cool stainless steel cups to put your beer inside of. And then you get the one of a kind brand new beer opener that makes it so that you can open a bottle of beer without bending the cap, without puncturing your hand without any frustration, ha ha hassles or headaches whatsoever, and have it then be able to go back on if you need it to. Uh, it's brand new today. It's from our friends at Bottle Rocket. We have a very limited supply of these, and Kelly Diedring has given up wine for beer. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say that. For the day. Nobody said that. <laughs> but I do like beer only look, and look when at all this you, cold. I mean, this is how much she can get through. And That's how I good it is. I opened every one of these earlier. I only like cold beer, right? Yep. So if it's room temperature, or just a tad bit warm, I don't care for it. It's refreshing when it's cold. Enter Bottle Rocket. If you love our wine opener, you are going to love our beer opener slash chill sticks slash stainless steel koozies. Okay, so you saw how easy that was. If you can work a staple gun or a stapler, all you do is pop it off and you can see it just literally pops right off. Now, what's cool about it is you can reuse the caps. Right. So you can actually snap it back on and it will open it right back up, which is interesting because well, if you don't finish a whole beer, I think also, that's pretty clever. It's also clever. genius for anybody who's doing homemade brews and yes. they want to be able to reuse what reuse they have. Reuse the caps yep. over and over. Yep. Now, to me, the whole value here is the chill sticks. Okay, you keep the chill sticks and I'll grab one that's not in a beer, in the freezer. So you just store them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. If you come home with a six pack of bottles that have not been chilled, you can pop it in your beer and it will chill it instantly. Not only will it chill it instantly, you can see it dropping right down into the bottle, but you drink through it. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's chilling the whole bottle and then it's chilling it again on its way in your mouth, making you get that lovely, warm and fuzzy feeling that we all get when we're drinking wine or we're drinking beer, right? Not, we want it to be cold and refreshing. Not to mention for anybody who's a little bit of a germaphobe about a glass bottle, <laughs> you're kind of putting a little bit of a barrier, okay, a little clean, sanitary thing to put on your mouth rather than that bottle that's been touched by gosh knows how many hands before really it got like to you. I really like that idea, I hadn't thought of it. I'm just showing you as you pour it, now you would be drinking it, but as you pour it, look at it, you just drink it like it's a traditional bottle of beer, but it's chilling it on its way into your mouth, which I think is really cool. So remember, if you bring home the six pack that didn't get chilled, yep. my husband was always throwing it in the freezer. Oh, I gotta hurry up and chill these drinks. And then he'd forget about them, and guess what we were left with? Exploded <laughs> beers, right? You don't have to have that. Then you're also getting two of the koozies. Now these are the double insulated stainless steel koozies. There's a brand out there, it starts with a Y, I can't really say the name of it, but they're about $35 each koozie, okay? This is the exact same technology. It's that double insulated vacuum stainless steel. It will keep your drink cold for hours. Now, if it takes you hours to drink a beer. You're not doing it right? We got something else to talk about, <laughs> my friend. But not only does it hold your bottles of beer, this is where I love, it will keep your soda or your cans of beer cold for hours. So this was a big one for Amy Morrison. We were on the Amy Morrison and Adam show. It's mm -hmm. like first Friday earlier. And she was saying, well, she likes a diet soda and it doesn't taste good warm. So she can keep her diet soda if she's out by the pool or if she's out watching the kiddos or if you're at a soccer game or a basketball game cold for hours. And I think that's just as important. So just to, just to recap here, what you're getting today for under $30, you get two of the stainless steel koozies that by the big Y brand are $35 a piece. You get two of those chill sticks that are gonna keep uh, your drinks cold, your beers instantly and immediately cold. And you're getting the, the pop and pull one of a kind uh, bottle rocket beer opener. You're getting one, two, three, four, five brand new stainless steel products all shipped to your door for $10 on a credit card. Uh, I think for anybody that's trying to do their own home brews, sure. for anybody that does go buy the big cases that are not chilled when yep. they get home. Yep. For anybody that is gonna sit outside with a beer in the hot summer months and it's a cold beer for a hot second. <laughs> 
Get it? Uh, this is a wonderful, <laughs> a wonderful product to actually enjoy oh, more early, and waste less. <laughs> early, late, it. It's early, late, however it is. Early, late, however it is. So you can see when I'm popping it, most often it pops right off, but otherwise it breaks the you seal. Just, so all you, you do is off. lift yeah. it up. Yeah. And I think that that's important because most of us are busy using these. And we've never thought of a different way. And we're, you know, messing with it and mangling it. And sometimes we get the top off and sometimes we don't. You can't reuse it because it's all bent, right? So I really like the fact that all you have to do is take the opener and literally pop it off. Then when you want to reuse that cap, or maybe you just want to pop it on there to keep the bugs out, snap it back on because you haven't damaged it. So you can reuse this over and over, as you said, for like the home brew. And then all you do, you see there, it just pops it right off. So it's a really strong magnet on the inside and you just push it down just like a stapler and then it sort of pops that off. Usually it'll dangle right there because there's a magnet on the side as well so that it's easy to grab onto so that you have it available to snap it back off as well. But you're not just getting the opener. My favorite part about it is the chill sticks. I mean, you these know, I've never seen. Kelly, you know what I think is fun about this? It, you know, the, the beer drinking guy in your life, he's not easy to shop for. No. He doesn't want much. He's almost impossible he doesn't, you know, to shop for, you know, the, it, it, He's not interested in a lot of great, you know, it's, it's difficult to find something that's unique, that's special, that's new, that's exciting. And, and this is one of those products to buy. It's very affordable today. These are all stainless steel pieces so that they're long lasting and durable and of high quality. And they really are something unique and special and thoughtful to give that he'll love and he'll enjoy and he'll actually use and gosh forbid. And he'll show it off. He'll actually show it off and yeah, thank you for it. Yeah, that's the thing with guys, right? They don't ever like to show off anything. And right. if you get them a good gift, they're showing it to their buddies. Yeah. It's all stainless steel. It's sleek looking. It's unique. It's different. It's way better than one of those. They've maybe never used that kind. But what I love is the chill stick. So remember, you're getting two of them. Go ahead and keep them in your freezer, okay? And if you don't store it in your freezer, give it an hour or two in the freezer because that's really what brings the temperature down. There's nothing inside here. It's not liquid. It's actually stainless steel. So they're very high end. When you open your bottle, take a sip or two, okay? Because it's so full that when you pop the chill stick in, right. you don't want it to overflow. Take a sip or two and then just pop that chill stick in. It creates a seal around the top. And then as you're drinking, it's chilling it. You can see as it's going up the stainless steel, it's making it colder so that it's refreshing and not uncomfortable to drink your glass of beer. And now if you double it up, and you did a chill stick with the, the, the koozie, let's say you're out on a boat and you've jumped in the water for a swim or you're in the lake or you're at the beach or you're poolside. Hour after hour after hour, you could come back and this will still be a refreshing cold beer. I'd venture to say if you came back the next day, mm -hmm and tried to drink that beer, it would still be chilled because of the uh, sophisticated technology well, and behind just it. Think about, think about how many times you throw away a half a beer. True. Because, I mean, Very especially true. now, hot summer months, I mean, you, you turn your back to grill a burger, you turn back and go, Ugh. Yeah, it's I mean, like, it's warm. literally, we pour money down the drain Very true. with lukewarm beer. I mean, this will, will basically pay for itself over the course of, you know, the 4th of July weekend. Yeah, it's a good point. And yeah. it's a great, interesting, unique gift. So mm -hmm. my husband is a beer snob. He drinks a lot of the IPAs and the craft brews. They all come in the glass bottles. They all require me, if he's if I'm running in the house and he says, grab me a beer, I've got to dig out one of these or find where it is and figure out how to maneuver it and mangle the lid. And then I end up handing it to him and say, here, open it yourself. Now, all I have to do, literally, if you can operate a stapler, you just give it a pop. And then if you twist your wrist ever so slightly, it literally grabs it so that you can just boop, pop it back on if you want to. Kelly, thank you so much. Okay, now do I get to drink a beer? I was gonna say, gonna drink, cheers. drink some beer. Should I cheers myself? <laughs> you cheers me. You don't have to don't drink. It. I know you. you're working. Well, I'm working. You know, <laughs> somebody's gotta get up with the kids in the morning. That's is true. You too, though. Oh, she. Okay, <laughs> we'll get one for Terry. <laughs> Terry, you guys will hang beer. out, okay? <laughs> All right, now, I uh, do want to let you know about some of the other great sales that we've got going on here at 